the glory of God. We thank for the, we thank those that are online this morning, our Facebook viewers. We thank for for the ones that are in the audience. But we come to pray today and give God some glory. First, we're going to start with adoration. God, we adore you. God, we thank you. God, we honor your spirit today. We call forth the ministering angels on this morning. But God, we open up our mouths to give your praise today. God, we open up your mouths and give your worship. God, we open up our mouths to worship you today. God, we magnify you because you are an awesome God. God, we magnify you because you are the King of kings, God. We magnify you, God, because you are the Lord of Lord, God. We magnify you today and we bless your name. You kept us all week long. God, we've been fasting, God. We've been praying, God. So, God, today we invoke your presence. Let's charge the atmosphere. Let's open up our mouths, God. We invoke your presence, God. We call on the power of God today in the name of Jesus, oh God. Stir us up on the inside. God, stir us up on the inside. God, stir us up on the inside. God, we bless you now, oh God. God, we're praying for the ones that are online, oh God. We're praying for the ones that are in the building today. God, we bind all distractions, God. We bind all confusion today. God, we bind it in the name of Jesus, oh God. Today, God, you will get the glory, oh God. The glory of the Lord shall manifest today. The glory of the Lord shall manifest today. Open up your mouth and release the praise today. Open up your mouth and leave a hallelujah. The glory will prevail. Oh, God, I am the mercy today. The glory will prevail. The glory will prevail. The glory will prevail. You have thine way today. God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you forgive us today, God. God, forgive us of every sin, oh God. God, forgive us for every lie, God. God, forgive us for every division. In the name of Jesus today, God, we're praying for repentance, oh God. In the name of Jesus today, God, we're praying for growth today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, have thine way today, God. We thank you now for what you're going to do in your presence today. We thank you now for what you're going to do in your presence today. God, we thank you now, oh God, and we bless you, God. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the great I am, oh God, and we call on you. So for that, God, we give you thanks, oh God. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for the great grace on our lives, oh God. We thank you that you kept us, oh God. We thank you that we're not in sin any longer, God. So we give you thanks today, oh God. We thank you now, oh God. We release a hallelujah. We release a thank you, Jesus. We bless you now, oh God. We bind the enemy in the name of Jesus. We come against every distraction. We come against confusion. We come against every irritant. In the name of Jesus, the glory will manifest this morning. The glory will manifest this morning. Have thine way today. Lucy, Satan, you are defeated. You are defeated. We call forth the angels. We call forth the angels. We call forth the ministering angels. We call for the glory. We call for the glory. We call forth the now, oh God. Every provision you will provide, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you now. God, we call him forth hope. God, we call him for peace. God, we call him for joy. God, you are, you are the way maker. God, we cancel every plan of the enemy. God, we cancel now in the name of Jesus. We know in your word that no weapon, we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We speak life right now into every dead situation. And we thank you now, oh God, for resurrecting life today. We speak now in the name of Jesus. We come against any mind instability. God, touch our minds, oh God. God, touch our minds today. We come against depression and oppression, oh God. God, we send the warrior angels today. Go and see about your people. Oh God, we're praying for salvation. Oh God, save the ones that are lost. Oh God, save the ones that are abused. Oh God, save the ones that are going through. Oh God, the one that's in the hospital, the one that's in the hospital, the one that's in the hospital, those that are at home with COVID. Oh God, we're praying now for supernatural healing. Let not one be on our lost on our watch today. You said that no plague shall come to our dwelling place, but we give you praise today. Come on and open up your mouths. Stand on your feet and give God some glory. Come on and put 
Put your hands together and begin to worship God. Begin to pray in your heavenly language. Open up your mouth and begin to release. There should be a warring in the atmosphere. We've been praying all week long. So glory, God, come see about your people. God, come see about your people, oh God. We're standing in the need of prayer today. God, begin to show up like never before, God. Show up like never before. God, show up like never before. God, show up for your people, oh God. Show up now in the name of Jesus, oh God. We pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We shut every demonic door today, oh God, that wants to rob your people of victory. We shut every demonic door, oh God, that wants to get on the minds of your people today. But this battle, oh God, we know that you're fighting for us, oh God. We know that you're fighting for us, oh God. We thank you now in the name of Jesus, oh God, for the fight today, oh God. Are there any fighting people in the house today? Come on and open up your mouth. Huh? Come on and pray with me this morning. Are there any fighters in the building today? And release your praise today. God, we thank you now that we have a responsibility to give you praise, oh God. We have a responsibility, oh God, to bless your name, oh God. Have you not commanded us, oh God? Be strong in the word, oh God. Have you not commanded us, oh God, to be courageous, oh God? Have you not commanded us, oh God, to be strong in the Lord today? Will you help me pray on this morning? We need some strength to more this morning. Get out of your cells today and begin to open up your mouth today. He said, where the Spirit of the Lord is, I'm calling forth the Spirit of the Lord today. I'm calling forth the Spirit of the Lord today to rest on the service today. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's joy. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's hope today. Where are the hopeful people? Do you stand in need of hope today? I believe the hope of the Lord, it is sure. It is a firm foundation. I believe the hope of the Lord. We're coming out of this, oh God. We won't be in this long, but in this season, we will come out. In this season, we will have greater. I hear the sound of rain. There is an abundance of rain that's coming to your house today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we're praying for unity, God. We're praying for alignment, God. We're praying for outreach, God. We're praying for opportunities, oh God. We're praying for healing, oh God. We're praying for networks, oh God. We're praying for more, oh God. We're praying for greater, oh God. We're praying for boldness, oh God. We're praying for more, God. The more, God. More, God. More of your people, oh God. More willing workers. God, we're praying for them now. In the name of Jesus, God. We thank you now. We thank you now. Come on. We thank you now. Come on. Come on. We thank you now. Come on. Come on, come on. We thank you now. We thank you now. We take authority. Come on. We thank authority now. In the name of Jesus. Over this atmosphere. Come on. We take authority now, oh God. Over this atmosphere. It is going to be conducive for the word of God. It's going to be conducive for deliverance. It's going to be conducive for breakthrough. We take authority. In the name of Jesus. Today, God. Today, God. We cast down, we cast down every imagination. We cast it out in the name of Jesus. We declare there to be freedom, oh God. We declare the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart. Oh God, be accepted on that side, God. God, you are our strength today. The gates of hell, oh God, should not prevail. Come on, you gotta pray. The gates of hell should not prevail. I should live and not die. Come on, you gotta pray. We cast all our cares upon you today, God. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory, God, today. Because you are the true and living King. You are our Father. You said in your word, you know, we are the head and not the tail. You said in your word, we are above and not beneath, oh God. We will get the glory, oh God, out of our lives today, oh God. There will be a release. Uh, there will be a release today. There will be a release today upon the enemy, oh God wants to block the service. I bind the enemy now that wants to sit on the service. I bind the enemy that wants to sit on prayer. The gates of hell should not prevail today. But the prayer will go forth today in the name of Jesus. Come on. Open up your mouth and begin to declare it now. Open up your mouth now in the name of Jesus. We declare it. We decree it in the name of Jesus that there will be no confusion. There will be no confusion in the name of 
Jesus, we declare. Come on, we declare. Come on, people of God, you gotta pray. We declare. We declare. We declare. Come on. We declare it in the name of Jesus. We declare that we got the mind of Christ. We declare it in the name of Jesus that no stronghold will hold us down. We declare in the name of Jesus that we got power and authority. We declare in the name of Jesus that we're more than enough today. We declare in the name of Jesus that we will not be shaken. We declare in the name of Jesus that God is a healer. We declare that we're being healed. We declare that we're being restored. We declare that we're being delivered. We declare that we're coming out. Say, I'm coming out in this season. I'm coming out in this season. We're coming out, people of God. Put your hands together. Say, I'm coming out. I'm walking in the fullness of glory. I'm walking in victory, oh God. I'm walking in joy today. I'm walking in love today. People of God, remember who you are in Christ. Remember who he is and who he is to come. He is our Father in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on and open up your mouth. There is a war crush. I won't quit in prayer. I'm going to the next level in prayer. We're stepping into a new dimension. We're stepping into a new dimension. We're stepping into a new level. In the name of Jesus. Where are the war cries? Where are they today? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to put, come on, release it in the atmosphere. Release it in the atmosphere. There should be a pandemonium. There should be a pandemonium in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. God, we thank you, hey. God, we thank you, hey. God, we thank you, ha huh? Tell the Father, thank you. Tell him for meeting every need. God, you met every need. God, you've been keeping your people. Did not one die on a watchdog. You blessed us more than enough, God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you that the evil plague didn't befall us, God. You kept us, oh God. We thank you. Come on, open up your mouth and begin to tell God thanks. He moved every mountain out of your life, oh God. Begin to give God thanks, oh God. He's kept you all week long. Give God some thanks this morning. He's blessed you all week long. Give God some thanks this morning. Give God some thanks. God, we thank you today. God, we thank you today for the next God. God, we thank you for the next God. We thank you for the now God. In the name of Jesus, we walk in the fullness of glory. seats in the presence of God this morning. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless God this morning. We thank you all for joining us here on this morning. I just have a couple of announcements for God is good. He is good. 
We got to get out of tradition. God is good. He's still good. God is a great God. He's still great. He's still magnif- He's still magnificent in spite of. In spite of. In spite of. In spite of what we see. He's still good. He's still great. He's still more. We got to get out of tradition. We got to worship him in spirit and in truth. Hey, she had never caught it, had never seen. When you start to believe that God is greater, He's greater, He's greater, He's greater, He's greater, Christophe, He's greater than any mountain, He's greater than any devil, He's greater than any sickness, He's greater. You gotta remember who you belong to. Who you belong to. He's greater. He's greater. He's greater. He's just that good. I don't care what's going on. He's just that good. It may hurt, but he's just that good. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together. I'm moving on. I got a couple announcements this morning. Just stay with me this morning. We thank you all for our faith. Bless God for everybody that's here. Are y'all excited to be in the house of the Lord? If you got the activities of your lives, you got to be excited. Somebody in their deathbed right now, but we can give God some praise this morning. Hey, man, I got a few announcements. Somebody, somebody, amen. So our first announcement is join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m. for Jumpstart and Sunday mornings at 10.50 a.m. where we continue to pray without ceasing. Amen. Amen. Our next one is thank you all who joined us for the Women of Divine Excellence Book Club on last Wednesday. We had a phenomenal night. We thank Pastor Charlene and we thank um, Sister Jessica for being our instructors for joining us. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the book club. Amen. Join us every Tuesday at 7 p.m. for midweek impartation. Have y'all been blessed by midweek impartation? Amen. Bishop is on fire. Our bishop is dropping nuggets. And this topic is, are you successful? Are you succeeding? Amen. If you haven't seen it, go back and do the replay. All right. The replay is just as good. Amen. All right. We're asking everyone to connect with us every Sunday at 11 a.m. Um, for our 2510 Build America Drive service. Please join us in the building as well as connect with us online. Go to our app, download our app. You can get every service on our app, amen. Share with your friends, inbox them the app and let them join so they can get all of the information. As well as we have a new series on there, The Chosen. Have y'all been watching The Chosen? That thing will get you hooked, right? I was like, it's 11.30, I need to go sleep. But it's really, really good, and you can go right through the app. Isn't that amazing? Come on and bless God for that. Amen. All right, we are in what? Consecration. Amen. Have you been blessed by week one? Come on. If you have been blessed by week one, we are now in week two, and we are on day eight. Amen. If you need, the title is 22 Consecration, Recovering All Double 22. Um, the consecration started on January 9th. Like I said, we're in day number eight. We're on week two. So if you need additional information, please see your accountability team leader for further information. Amen. All right, come on, y'all put your hands together. We bless God for the announcements. Come on and stand on your feet this morning. I know it feels like I'm moving and I'm rushing, but I know that there is a word from the Lord on this morning. Are y'all excited for the word? Say, I'm ready for the word. I'm ready for the word. So at this time, I present to some and I introduce to others our very own Bishop Gary T. Rogers. Come on and put your hands together as he comes. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. This is our man of God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's put our hands together and give God praise in this place. Come on, you can do better than that. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Let me tell you, I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for everything that he's doing on today. I thank God for his grace and his mercy. Thank God for his strength because he really didn't have to do it, but he did. I'm looking for my little paper I just had out. God has been so, so good to us, and I thank God for everything that he's doing. I thank God for this day. I thank God for just strength. I thank God for the awesome, awesome God that we serve. So why you, why you just being getting prepared right now? I want you to just tag at least five people. Tag at least five people, and while you're doing that, I, I, I have to do the same thing. Tag at least five people and tell them to listen. And listen, tag, tag someone you don't know. Tag someone you don't know today, you know. So often we tag our, we tag people that should already, you know, be here. So I just thank God for what he's doing in the service on today. And when you've done that, just give me a, uh, listen, give me an amen, you know, hand wave. So we're ready to get in and get out. Amen. We're also praying for. Uh, the children. Let's pray for a lot of people that's um, sick right now. Let's pray for uh, the ones that's uh, on their sick bed. Let's pray for uh, ones who lost a loved one. There's so much going on. So we're definitely going to keep them in prayer. Amen. Amen. Are you ready for the word on today? Are you ready for a word for today? Amen. Let's go to, we're going to go back to the book of Genesis, book of Genesis chapter 39, verses 1 through 10, when you have it acknowledged by a man. All right. Hey, listen, I want to um, say how you doing, uh, Evangelist Tremaine, Victoria Brown, how you doing, Shamara, all right, Chantique, amen. God is really doing so. Quana, how you doing? I pray for the Brown family on today. Let me listen. God is doing this. God is doing this thing on today. And I thank God for what he's doing. I thank God for everyone that's on Facebook, everyone that's on Zoom, everyone, wherever you are on today. I thank you. And also the people that's on Facebook, Zoom, I'm asking you to come on in and invite someone, tag someone, and there is a word from the Lord on today. Amen. What you all you do you have it already? Were you ready to go? Yeah. Amen. Okay, in the book of Genesis chapter 39, listen, but first I want, before I do that, I want to again, again thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for all that he has done. This is the reason why we're here today. Listen, this is the only reason because he breathed into our nostrils. He breathed on us. He breathed. Listen, I don't take this for granted at all. I thank God. I thank God that I'm here on today. You may ask me, well, why do you, why do you thank God? Because, you know, if you, if you die in Christ, you know, you're, you're going to a better place. But let me tell you something. Uh, I'm going to mess your head. I'm going to mess up your theology. You really don't know where you're going. Because you may be self-righteous. And God said, depart from me. You work of iniquity. Why? Because what? Before I know you're not. You know, you cannot put yourself in heaven. Amen. In the book of Genesis, I want to also thank my wife, Pastor Lisa Rogers, for setting things up. Amen. Pastor Shirlene, amen. All the evangelists, minister, I thank God for the video team. Amen. Also want to thank God for Friday night prayer. Amen. Let me tell you, Friday night prayer was awesome. I think uh, Deacon Justin came up. I don't know what he was trying to say when he came up and he was talking about the, uh, the prayer. I think he wanted to uh, pray. I don't know. I, it seemed like he's ready. He's just ready to jump right on in. You know, he's ready to jump on in. I think he's ready to jump on in. Amen. You know, because he came up here. He said, you know, he was like asking questions. I, and I told him, I said, listen, you can do it. It's in you. It's in you. Amen. It's in you. Amen. It's in you. Amen. 
So in the book of Genesis 39, verse 1 through 10, and it reads, And Joseph was brought down to Egypt at, in Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard. An Egyptian bought him of the hands of the Ishmael, which had bought, brought him down thither. And the Lord was with Joseph. Say that out loud. And the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a prosperous, prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight. And he served him. And he made him overseer over his house. And all that he had, he put his hand, he put into his hands. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in the house and over all that he had, all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian house for Joseph's sake. Did you get that? And the blessing of the Lord was upon the, on his, let, let, let me go back. The blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and, and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not all he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person, and he well favored. Somebody shout well favored. And it came, and it, and it, and it came to pass after these things that his master wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, "Lie." with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master walked not what is with me in this house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is none greater in this house than I. Neither hath he kept back anything from me but these, but thee. Because thou art his wife, thou, listen, because thou art his wife, how then can I do this great wickedness? And sin against God, not sin against Potiphar, but sin against God. You got to get it straight, sin against God. And it came to pass, as he spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love and your kindness. We thank you for your strength. Have your way in this place, Lord. I thank you for being our God, our Lord, our Savior. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you go with us. I pray that you, Lord, will you be with us. I pray, Lord, that you give us strength where we're weak. Lord, I pray for the sick right now. I pray for the word, your word right now, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord, that we bind the hands of the enemy now, Lord Jesus. Lord, we welcome you in this place. We welcome you in this house. House. We thank you right now. We thank you for giving us strength where we we. We love you. We adore you in Jesus' name. We pray amen and amen. You may be seated. As we jump in here and look into this word of, of the Lord, it's, it's an awesome. We're talking about God wants you to be successful. God wants you to be successful. So when we look at this here, when we look at this here, we thank God. And when we talk about God wants us to be successful, uh, we sometimes, and it's more than prosperity. Put that in the chat. Put that where you are. Just say it out, say it out loud. It's more than prosperity. You know, it's more than prosperity. I don't want to get this twist. I don't want anyone to think that, you know, we're just talking about prosperity. No, we're talking about success. And when we talk about success, we have to talk about success in every area. God don't want us to be successful in the world and not successful in the church. That's not a balance. Uh, that's the problem that we have right now. We, we think that the only thing God wants us to do is be successful. So when we look at the word of successful, the word successful only means to accomplish an aim or a purpose. That's all it means. You are accomplishing an aim or purpose. So, but when you talk about the opposite of success, the opposite of success is basically being unsuccessful. It means being unprofitable. It means poor. Uh, but the Bible also said that the poor will be with us always. But because the Bible said that the poor will be with us always, that does not mean that you have to be poor. Uh, you don't have to bring that. You don't have to bring that upon yourself. You don't have to say because my father was poor. 
You don't have to say because I was raised here, because I was brought here. We often say that. We often say that so that people will uh, re- just think about where we came from. But that's not something that we dwell on. I, I was, you know, I came from the hood. I came from the trailers. I came from this aspect. But no, where did God bring you from? Uh, when we talk about this Joseph, I, I love the story of Joseph. Uh, his name really means to add. It means to add. So that means God is going to do so much for us. Uh, it, his name really means he will add. Uh, and that means everything Joseph had, everything that it was meant for him to have, it was already prophesied to him. Joseph did not have to go around, listen, telling everyone I'm blessed. He did not have to, you know, drive the best. He did not have to do all this here because he knew that the blessing was on his life. You as the man or woman of God, you have to realize that you're blessed no matter what state you're in right now, that you are blessed. It doesn't matter what the world system say. You have to realize that I am blessed. Joseph looked at this, and now out of the 12, out of the approximately 12 children, uh, it said that Joseph was approximately the 11th one, and his father, his father loved him. Uh, his father saw so much in him. It was, listen, Jacob and Rachel, it, you know, and all the children. Now, can you imagine, listen, I'm just thinking God is downloading right now. Can, now, can you imagine having, can you imagine having 12 boys? Can you, can you imagine having 12 boys in the house? And they said there was approximately a daughter. But can you imagine having 12 boys in the house, 12 young men in the house? T, T, Tyrone, can you imagine you and T having 12, 12 boys and one daughter? Listen, I don't know what God is saying, but, uh, you know, can you imagine 12? Can you imagine 12 12, uh, uh, you know, I don't think no one would be running around saying, I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed. But out of the 12, it was, the, it was Jacob. It's Jacob favored. He favored Joseph. He, he, he favored Joseph, but be, not only that he favored him, but the, his siblings knew that he was favored. Now, on that right there, out of the 12, 10, 10 of the brother was his uh, half-brother. It was his half-brother. Uh, that's what they, the Bible says, half-brother, but really it was his brother. Uh, then it, it, his baby brother was who? Benjamin. Uh, uh, he loved Benjamin. But at the same time, God saw that everything he did, it was in the favor of Joseph. Now, Joseph, as a young man in his team, as he began to brag and begin to tell his brother, and now he's walking around with a coat. Can you imagine, listen, out of all your siblings, you, you, you're walking around with something special. You walk around with something of many colors, and, and, and oh my God, God has downloaded something because Joseph. Listen, Joseph. Uh, Joseph knew that he had something, but Jacob already realized that what he put in him, uh, the coats. When I look at the coats, uh, the coats, I can see every part of the throne of God. I, I uh, when I look at the coat, I see God in it. I see. I can see red for the blood. I can see the purple. I can see the blue. I can see everything because his coat really, really was representing. The God, it, it, it was represent a part of God because Joseph uh, was a picture perfect image of God. And not only that, he, he had the color and he had the coat. And at around about 17 years old, God began to deal with this young man. As God began to deal with him, he began to tell his brother of the dream that he had. And, and not only begin, did he begin to tell of the dream, he began to tell them that, listen, God is about to do this here. But listen, can you, I, want you to, I want you to listen to me. Everyone is not happy for your success. Uh, um, everyone is not going to celebrate your success. Uh, if you're out there, you're ch- on the chat today, I want you to just put in the chat today, everyone's not going to be happy of my success. Uh, just like his brother was jealous of him, and uh, they did not like that. You know, no, no, you're the only one walking around with this coat. You're the only one dressed different. What's so special? 
special about you? What's so uh, 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 great about you? And, and not only that, but then it goes on to say, who therefore believed Joseph. He not only believed Joseph in this coat, he Joseph also realized that God, listen, uh, it was working for his good. Uh, I just want you to shout right now, it's working for my good. Uh, you, I want you to shout, it's working for my good. Uh, Joseph went through some things, and not only when he went through some things, his brothers, his, his brother didn't like it. So when they didn't like it, they, they listen. They had to get rid of him. They wanted to kill him. They would now. Is it that? Is it is it, is it that bad? Listen. Uh, am I hated that bad because I'm blessed? Do you hate me that bad? Listen, listen, don't get mad at me because I'm blessed. It wasn't Joseph's fault that he was blessed. Do you hear me? It was not Joseph's fault. Look at someone say, it's not my fault that I'm blessed. I'm, I'm just blessed like that. I'm just blessed like that. Um, see, sometimes people, you know, people, when, when, when you're blessed, sometimes you just look blessed. And, and God, listen, his father made sure that at a young age, I'm going to put on you now that's going to represent your future. Uh, I'm going to put on some... You I'm going to put on you. His father didn't realize what he was doing, but he was doing it. It was all for God's good. Uh, um, it was God working this thing out. It was God that was working. It was God that was working behind the scenes because God already knows that Joseph can handle to be, can, to, he could handle to be blessed. There's so many people right now, God bless you something, the first thing you do, you lose your mind. God bless you with something and you don't see God. Have you ever known people that never had anything and after God bless them, they are gone. After God bless them, they, they, they leave, they leave, they leave God. And God said, listen, you left too quick because I had something better for you. I'll put this in the chat. God has something better for you. You walked out, you left God, and God has so much for you. And, and at the age of 17, when he had his, listen, when he had his first dream, Joseph and his brother gathered bundles. He's talking about the bundles of grain in which the, the, he gathered and bowed to him. That he was talking to his brother. He was talking about, listen, it's going to be a bundle of grain. And he told his brother, listen, you're going to bow down to me. In the second dream, he said, thus, he was talking about the sun. And he was talking about the sun and the moon. And he talking about the 11 stars. Listen, the sun was talking about his father. The moon was talking about his mother. But the stars Stars was talking about his brother. Now, let me, let me tell you something about that. When God gives you a dream, you have to make sure that you can interpret this dream. Most time, nine times out of ten, that dream is not the way you thought it would be. So often we get dreams and we go around running and say, God said this and God said that. And you have to be very careful of the dream that you're dreaming. You're so, listen, you have to be in tune with God to know what these dreams mean. And listen, at around 17 years old, this this young man already working in his gift. He was already prophesying. Can I tell you something? This is going to mess you up. When he prophesied, he never said God said. I want you to take note. When he prophesied, he never said God said. He said, this is what's going to happen. He didn't have to listen. He didn't have to put everything on God. He knew that God was in him and he just said, this is what's going to happen. So basically what he did was he, listen, if the prophet didn't come to pass, he did not blame God for a prophecy that was a lie. My God, I feel like slapping myself up in here. Uh, you, you know, when you're a prophet, you don't have to say God said this and God told me this. You, let me tell you something. God is speaking to you more than he's speaking to a pastor. God is speaking to you more than he speaks to Moses. But that's not the word of God. God does everything in uh, order. He does everything in decent and in order. For all the people that's opened your mouth and said, God told me to tell you. No, God did not say that. That's why we have people out here right now in a backslidden state because they said it's God, but it was the devil. They said it was God, but it wasn't God. It was your, your emotion all out of whack. Tell somebody your emotion is throwing you everywhere. Let me tell you something. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. If you're unstable in your bills, you know you're unstable in everything else. God is a just God. You can't even handle your bills telling people what God said. If God prophesied to everybody, he needs to prophesy and tell you to pay your bills. Uh, uh, 
my God, you prophesying about all this. Give me one scripture. Give me one scripture. You don't even know the word, and you prophesying to somebody. You prophesying. That's why, listen, Joseph said, this is what's going to happen. Listen, Joseph, listen, as a young man, he was walking in his gift, and he did not have to, listen, it's not one time he did not have to go tell no one to say, well, God, listen, he did not have to say, well, you know, God gave me this gift, and, and this is what's going to happen. And, and, and no, when his brothers put him in that pit, uh, he did not say, you listen, you're not, listen, you're not using my gifts. Because they was not concerned about his gift. In fact, they was not concerned about him because he prophesied. He talked about the 11. He talked about the stars, and they was the stars. Uh, he basically was saying the, the sun, the father, the moon, the mother, the 11 stars. He was basically beginning to say the falls are going to fall. The star, look, somebody said the stars are going to fall. The stars are going to bow, and not, not only are they going to bow, but they're going to bow down to me. It, it's all right that they're going to fall, but listen, we're not going to bow down to you, little Joseph. Uh, my God. Let me tell you something. The anointing is not categorized. The anointing is not by your age. It's not about your sibling. It's not about who's first. Now, Reuben was the first, but he was unstable as water. That's what the Bible says. You can be the first of your mother's siblings and still unstable. Look at somebody say, I'm not unstable. I'm going to get my mind right in 2022. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm talking about double before I talk about any prosperity. I need to get my mind right. What sense? does it make for me to talk about a mansion when I can't even handle an apartment? How is it that I'm talking about God's going to bless me with this six-bedroom house and I got a two-bedroom that's nasty. I got a three-bedroom that I can't keep clean, but I keep telling you that God's going to bless me. No, you're prophesying a lie because God makes sure that everything I have is listen, it's in an order and is ordered by God. Ah, look at something. I said, God is going to bless me real good. Look at something. I said, God's going to bless me real good. And one thing I like, listen, one thing I love about Joseph, uh, the Bible said he was not jealous. They plotted to kill him. And he, he, he didn't get jealous. He didn't get envy. He didn't get mad. Uh, I don't understand. While we as church folks, uh, we get mad and we just run. We, we, just, we just leave everything. But I don't understand how you're leaving everything. You're going from church to church because you're mad. Uh, it's only so many churches in the 757. Uh, that's why people right now, they say, listen, I can't stand church folks. Uh, if you can't stand church folks, it's, it's the room, there's no room for you in heaven. Uh, how in the world you saying you can't stand church folks, but that's all that's going to be in heaven is church folks. Uh, oh, my God. Listen. Listen, look at somebody say, get yourself together. Uh, they tried to kill him. They tried to, listen, they tried to do everything to him. Uh, they, then it goes on to say, there after the gifted brother, they planted, listen, they took his coat. It's one thing to be jealous of me, but they said they, they took his coat. And, uh, look, 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 they took his coat, and, and then, listen, they, they took it, and they put blood on it. They painted it. They, 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 my God, they painted it. They put blood on it. They made sure that, listen, uh, my God, we're going to distort this here. We're going to mess it up. And not only when they put the, listen, they put uh, goat, goat blood all over the coat, and they didn't understand. Listen, you can put, coat, you can put the blood on my coat but also it's representing the blood. It's representing my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It also represents the, listen, the, the, the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Now, you trying to, listen, you train a, you trying to paint a picture, but you're not painting a picture. It was already prophesied before time that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, now, now, now they wanted to do something else. They said, listen, we're going to put him in, listen, well, I listen, and uh, listen, uh, uh, his old, the older brother, he said, listen, Listen, uh, he said, well, no, I, I don't think we should kill him. Uh, now, the older brother, instead of him taking, making sure that, listen, we're not going to allow this happen to my little brother. The oldest brother, the older brother said, no, nah, I, I don't think we should kill him. Uh, no, nah, let's just bury him. Let's just, let's just put him in the pit. Uh, my God, look, somebody said, the pit is not so bad after all. Uh, the, uh, just control your thoughts while you're in the pit. Uh, make sure that God is in the pit with you. Make sure that God, you also, while you're in the pit, make sure you're praying. Make sure I'm talking to you out there. When you're in the pit, make sure you learn how to pray in the pit. If you can't pray in the pit, it's the way you can pray in the palace. Oh my God. If God put you
you in the pit, he put you in the pit for a reason. And now he was sold to Potiphar. When he was sold to Potiphar, now when he was sold to Potiphar, it was all a God's plan. Look, look at somebody say, it was all God's plan. Now, you don't understand what I'm going through. You don't understand what, listen, you don't understand the tears that's coming out of my eyes. But it's all a part of God's plan. Now, you may not understand. I feel like I'm hurting right now. But it's all a part of God's plan. Now, there's somebody out there. There's somebody out there that's watching right now. And you was about to give up last night. But I'm just telling you right now, hold on. Shut my hold on. Shamira, hold on. Kelly, hold on. Oh, it doesn't matter what you're going through. I just want you to hold on. Now, somebody tried to put you in the pit. Uh, I need to know if you can just praise God in the pit. Uh, is there anybody out there? The pit is not going to stop your praise. Uh, you need to learn how to give God praise wherever you are. Is there a problem giving God <laughs> praise in the pit? Uh, oh, my God. Uh, if God is in the pit with me, he's only making room for the things that he's about to do. Uh, I'm not scared of no pit. Uh, I'm not scared. Oh, my God. Uh, I feel God in the pit with me. My God, you got to learn how to give God praise in the pit. Uh, my God, he, listen, now, it, it, it's one thing, it's one thing, you took my coat, you tried to kill me, and, and, and now you have, the, you have the audacity to sell me. Let me tell you something, you can't sell the anointing. Look at somebody say, you can't sell the anointing. You can't prostitute the anointing. There's somebody out there, listen, somebody trying to prostitute your anointing. But I want you to look the devil in the eye, you can't prostitute my anointing. What God has for me, it is for me. I'm already oily, I was born oily. Oily. I was, listen, when I came out the room, I was oily. When I was in the street, I didn't even know I was oily. I listen, when I was listen, when God was using me to prophesy as a child, to teach and as a child, to be a blessing as a child, I thought it was just a way of life. I, I did not know that after all that I've gone through, I did not know that God can use me when I was in the club dipping and dabbing, when I was in the club jumping and shouting. I did not understand that God was going to bring the same shout into the church. <laughs> Look at somebody. I, said, I just feel like giving God praise right now. I feel like giving God praise right now. Look at somebody say, I have no reason to give God praise. I'm going to give God praise because you tried to kill me. And I didn't lose my mind. You in the church and you tried to kill me. You tried to sabotage my gift. You tried to sabotage. Oh, my God. Look at somebody say, you can't kill the anointing. <laughs> oh, my God, out there, you can't kill the anointing. Oh, Davida, you can't kill the anointing. My God, let me tell you. Look at somebody say, keep your mouth to you. Listen, keep your mouth to yourself. Look at somebody say, in fact, listen, get your mouth off me. Look at somebody say, if you want to say something about me, listen, make sure that God already knows. It's already going to come to pass. Uh, you can't tell me nothing that God don't already know. <laughs> My God. My God. Potiphar, he was sold, and when he was sold, he didn't understand. And when he was sold, he still kept his integrity, being sold. Look at somebody say, he kept his integrity while he was sold. Look at somebody say, keep your integrity. Oh, my God, he kept his integrity. He wasn't bitter. He wasn't jealous. He wasn't mad. He didn't understand. He didn't understand. He didn't know. He didn't understand that all things works together for good to them that are called. My God, he didn't understand that the calling that was on his life, he did not understand. He just went with the, listen, he just went with the, pro, he went with the progress. He went with the flow and in the flow, he kept on lifting up the name of Jesus when he kept on lifting the name of Jesus. Ah, my God, he was. Listen, and everything happened for a reason. Uh, he was sold. He, listen, he wasn't just sold to anybody. He was not just anywhere. God set this thing up. God, listen, listen, God set him up for a blessing. Listen, put this in the check. God's about to set you up for a blessing. 
See, there, listen, there's some, there's some people out there, there's some people out there talking about, listen, uh, 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 you, the church is talking about prosperity. My, the church is talking about prosperity blessing. I'm not talking about prosperity blessing. I'm talking about blessing from the Lord. Uh, the blessing of the Lord make it rich uh, and add it no sorrow. That means, let me tell you something. You can call it what you want. I'm still blessed. You can call it prosperity. You can call it superior. You can call it just. You can call it successful. You can call it succeed. I'm still blessed. I've come to let you know. Let me tell you something. I don't care what, listen, I don't care what God has on your life. It's time for you to be promoted in the spiritual realm. It's time for you to be promoted in the blessing of the Lord. Because when you're blessed with, listen, when you're blessed with God, he, you will cast that devil down. When that devil come to you talking all crazy and say what God said, you said, that's not the God I serve. You speaking witchcraft. <laughs> Oh, my God, God is downloading right now. Sometimes people speaking into your life just to kill you. When people speak something into your life, let me tell you something. You bind it right there. When it go in one way, you plead the blood. I bind it right now. You bind it right now. Let me tell you, don't, don't just tell it to yourself. You look them, listen, you look them square in the face. I bind that spirit. I don't receive it. I rebuke what you just said, and I cast it down to the pit of hell. My God. See, people say things, and it's like a leech. And if you don't cast it off of you, it will be a part of your mind. It will be a part of your thought. It will be a part of your process. And you wrestling with this thing all night. But that's not what God told you. Why are you wrestling with what God told you? Why? Listen. I want you to look at somebody I'm talking to, you, everybody I'm talking to you out there on Facebook. Why are you wrestling with witches? Why are you wrestling with witches? What did the Bible say? Satan, get thee behind me. Look at that devil say, Satan, get thee behind me. Listen, you're behind me. You're not before me. You're behind me. Why are you in my face? Get behind me with your lies. Get behind me with your threats. Get behind me. My God. My God, listen, in the year, listen, 2022, let me tell you something. Everything that's not God, you shut it down right now. Everything that's not God, you bind it right now. You bind that spirit right now. Even that spirit that's on your children, you bind it right now. People trying to tell you what your child's going to be. That's not what God told me. God told me I'm blessed in the city. He told me I'm blessed in the field. He told me I'm blessed when I'm coming. He blessed me on my God. He said I'm blessed when I'm going. Let me tell you what. Speak life. God, listen, I want you to know right now, some of y'all don't even know right now. Y'all think it's a crime? You complaining, but you're really in Pharaoh's house right now. You're in Pharaoh's house right now, and God is giving you everything you need. God's giving you everything in the house, and the reason he's giving you everything in the house is because he's about to bless you in the house. Mm. He's about to bless you in the house. He's about to bless you. Look at somebody say, I'm about, to, I'm about to be blessed right there in the house. Listen to somebody say, I'm about to be blessed in the house. I'm about to be blessed in the house. I don't have to leave here. I'm about to be blessed in the house. I don't have to look for another church. I'm about to be blessed in the house. I don't have to look for nobody else. I'm about to be blessed in the house. Let me tell you something. Uh, it's time out for people going from church to church. Uh, you're going from church to church because you're not getting your way. You're going from church to church because your emotional broke down. You're going to church to church because you say God said. How is it that God told you to leave the church and now you out here wandering in the wilderness like my God? You out there running like Ismail. Look at somebody see you wandering in the streets like Ismail. My God, God, my God. Are you Isaac or are you Ismail? Ismail, listen, Isaac is in the house. Ismail is running around. Ismail is weird. Listen, Ismail is wild. My God. Now I see why you're running around because Ismail is wild. His nature is wild. They say, every, listen, everybody's hand's going to be on his neck. Everyone's going to be after him. My God. So, so, 
the story goes on to after he brings them in the house, after he brings them in the house and the blessing begins to fall. And, and, and now Joseph, listen, and, and Pharaoh, listen, listen, Potiphar realized, Potiphar knows that, listen, Potiphar knew that, listen, this not just anybody. Potiphar knew that this, 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 Potiphar knew that it's something different about this man. Listen, he's my, listen, Potiphar knew that he's my slave, but he's also my owner. My God, he's my slave, but it's something about him. He realized that it, the anointing that was on his life. He realized, my God, it's something about Joseph. Let me tell you, I want you to say right now, it's something about me. I don't understand why, but it's something about me. Let me tell you something. Everywhere I go, it's something about me. Listen, you can fire me if you want. When you fire me, this job is going down. The only reason this job is holding up right now, the only reason this job is moving right now, is because Joseph is in the house. And listen, Pharaoh knew that Potiphar knew that everything that he had, that God was a part of it. God was a part of his hand. There was a covering on him. And I come to let you know there's a covering over your life. I want to prophesy to you today. There's a covering over your life. There's a listen that the blood is over your life. That's why he said, listen, when I see the blood, I will just pass over. That's why the enemy, listen, he's gonna, he has to bypass your house. When the devil stops in your house, the only thing you have to do is plead the blood of Jesus. Now I want you, everybody in here, look at this. Listen, just begin to plead the blood of Jesus. If you in your house and there's COVID in your house, plead the blood of Jesus. Sir. Heal it in your house. Plead the blood of Jesus in your house. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Uh, it said he knew it. It was something special about him. The, the master saw that. Hey, my God, it's something about this young man. It, it's something about him. Because Pharaoh, listen. Pharaoh. I, I keep saying Pharaoh. Potiphar. Potiphar knew. Potiphar, let me tell you something. Potiphar had more. My God, listen. This is my, listen, I said, now this is deep. Potiphar saw something that his brother didn't see. His brother was walking with him and did not see the anointing on his life. He walks into Potiphar's house. Potiphar looked at the slave and said, my God, it's something about him. Potiphar looked at him and said, my God, because everything he touched, every, listen, I said, the Bible said everything he touched, it prospered. So you don't have to tell nobody you're rich. You don't have to tell nobody you're wealthy. The Bible said they're going to see it all over your life. They're going to see it in your members. They're going to see it. Listen, but listen, when, listen, you know how you really bless? You, you ready for this here? I may not get a big amen on this here. Do you know how you really bless? Your tithe tell the story. If your tithe not adding up to yourself, you're not blessed. Listen, stop talking about how blessed you are, but your tithes are sin different. Uh, the Bible said, my, my God, the, uh, I, I'm going to get to it. I'm, I'm going to get to it. Rachel, how you doing? Rachel Taylor, how you doing? My God. Let me tell you something. My tithe equal, listen, my tithe equal my blessing. My tithe equal my blessing. You can't tell me God blessing you and you still giving $99.99 and you in the government and you were such, listen, that's what, listen, I remember back in my days when I was young and my pastor pulled me to the side. He knew I was an E4, listen, he knew I was an E4 at the time. He said, no, I was an E5 at the time. And he pulled me to the side. He wasn't ashamed. He said, Brother Gary. I said, yes, sir. He said, uh, uh, there's a one E5 and there's another E5. He said, your tithe is not matching their tithe. And then when he pulled me to the side and I walked out the uh, office, uh, I didn't rebuke him. My wife and I looked at each other. By the time we left out the place, our tithe matches what the other guys match. Because let me tell you something. He rebuked me and it drove me to a better place. And the reason that I'm blessed today is because of a rebuke. Oh, my God, I want you to listen. A rebuke will take you to a better place. If someone rebuke you, that means rebuke is love. 
we can put this in the chat. A rebuke is love. I'm not trying to kill you. My God. Rebuke. Now they say in this generation here, my God, he rebuked me. No, you wasn't rebuked. It was the truth. It's so that God can see, listen, so you can see your blessings. And, and then it goes on to say, and, and, and then it goes on to say, and Joseph found favor in his sight. My God, what favor? What is favor? What is favor? It, it's, it's something when you say you got favor, but it, it's something when God, listen, when he found favor in Pharaoh's, that means, listen, a, a Potiphar, I keep saying, my God, when he found favor in Potiphar's house, that, listen, Potiphar, he did not know that Potiphar was eventually going to give him everything he needed. Uh, let me tell you something. Let me, I, I want to speak to you right now. Somebody that listen that you're talking to and, and, and let, me, let me tell you something else. Uh, who you're dealing with is may not be nobody in church. Uh, stop looking for church folks to bless you. Stop listen. Stop running from people that's not saved. We in the world, we're talking about listen. I don't want to deal with them because they're not saved. I don't want to deal with them because they cursing. I don't want to deal with them because they drinking. But it's the same thing you're doing. Uh, uh, my God, he found favor. And when he found favor, he didn't judge him. He, he, Joseph didn't judge Potiphar. He didn't say, well, you know, I, I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want this cigarette money. I don't want this. I don't want this alcoholic money. I, I don't want this ungodly money. Oh, my God. Let, let me tell you something. God put him in position. When God put him in position, he put him in the position so he can prosper. Let me tell you something. God will put you in position so you can prosper. It, it, it's not just to put you in position, but God also put him in position so he can be a blessing to everybody poor. Let me let me tell you something when God blesses you be a blessing to the poor be a blessing to someone that don't have be a blessing let me tell you something if you listen if you got three or four good cars and somebody don't have a car and they walk and we listen my God give them something that you have and God will be a blessing to you stop going around listen telling everybody well I have 18 cars and you see your brother walking and you don't want to really give him anything I thank God right now for the blessing that's on my life uh, let me tell you something but God just said to, some people cannot stand to be blessed I just want to ask you today can you stand to be blessed can you stand the blessing of God because God is in the building some people cannot stand to be blessed so now listen Joseph all already knew he knew the principle of being blessed the principle of being blessed is to serve God first the principle of being blessed to give God honor first the principle now God downloaded something else he began to say when Joseph walked into the palace Joseph began to give him praise because he came from the pit to the palace and he knew it was only because of the blessing of Woo! Oh, shot troubles. Yeah, ba ba ba. See, yeah, my my my. I want to talk to you out there right now. Twenty two is gonna be a blessed year. It doesn't matter what that devil said. There's some people out there right now. They're saying the only thing you're chasing is prosperity. Let them know I'm not chasing prosperity. I'm chasing God and the prosperity is chasing me. I'm chasing God and prosperity is chasing me. I'm not chasing prosperity. I'm chasing God and prosperity is on my back. That's what's on my back. It's not a headache. It's a blessing from God. And I'm carrying my prosperity. I'm carrying my blessing. Because my blessing should come and overtake me. Oh! Let me tell you. My God, don't you listen to that lie. Let me tell you something. Don't, don't listen. Don't, don't get mad because listen. Don't, don't let, can I tell you something? In the year 22, don't hide your blessing. Don't hide nothing that God gives you. My God, so... Don't hide nothing that God gives you. Expose that devil. Don't hide nothing that God gives you. You better start giving God praise right now. You better open up your mouth right now. There's some people out here 
when you get a new car, you don't even drive your car. You still driving your Hoover because you're afraid what somebody else going to say. You don't even invite people to your house because they may be jealous. I come to let you know, listen, whatever God has given you, don't be afraid to show it. I'm talking to you out there right now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You're in the palace right now. You're in the palace now. You're just checking it out. Because when Joseph was in the palace, he began to check it out. I just want you to check it out. Check out your blessing. Check out the dream. Check out the vision. Because one thing Joseph knew, but this palace is about to become a church. This palace is about to become a place of worship. You thought it was going to be the same old junk for a pilot house, but it's a place of worship. Because when I came on the scene, it changed from the palace to God's house to the temple. Ah, how about you? Woo! If you listen, if you walk into the Rogers house, let me tell you something. When you walk into the Rogers house, there, there, there's nothing but the glory. Look, there's nothing but the glory. There's nothing but glory. There's nothing but glory. There's no witchcraft. There's no debt. There's glory. When you walk into the Rogers house, uh, there will be life. When you walk into the Rogers house, in fact, we, we listen, all the dim lights we took them out because there's light in the. Let me tell you something. Look at somebody say, turn your lights on. Look at the neighbor, turn your lights on. If God gave you that house, turn those lights on. It, listen, if don't be afraid of no bills, turn those lights off. You, listen, my wife always did tell me, you walk around this big old house with a flashlight, turn those lights on. You, listen, if God afford, listen, if God allowed you to be in this house, turn those lights on. Turn the chandelier on. Let people know that this house is lit up. Uh, it's like the White House is lit up. It's not just lit up, but what you see is the glory of the Lord. It's resting on. Ah. Uh, my God. My. My God. Listen. Look at somebody say, it gets better. Look at somebody say, it gets better. It doesn't matter what you're going through, it gets better. You just need to learn how to give God praise right where you are right now. Right where you are right now. Start giving God praise. Start giving God praise. Because first of all, God wants you to be successful. Look at somebody say, God wants you to be successful in your praise. If you're successful in your praise, you'll be successful in everything else. If you're successful in your prayer life, if you're successful in the word of God, if you're successful in obedience, if you're successful to holiness, if you're successful to righteousness, if you're successful to the anointing of God. Whew. My God. See, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. My God. Listen, listen, I said, God wants me to be successful. And let, look at him, so don't get it twisted. When I talk about successful, it's just not money. So that's what's wrong with your head. Because you're broke, you don't see anything else. Sometimes people are so broke, when you say success, they only think you're talking about money. But I'm talking about the glory of God. Uh, I'm talking about the success of God that's on my life. Because when God filled me with the Holy Ghost, that was a success. This old wretched body, this old jacked up body, this old drinking body, this old alcoholic body, this old drunk user body, but it was a success. Woo! Look at somebody, you're nothing but a success. Look at somebody, say, you're nothing but a success. Look at somebody, say, it's a success. Look at you, you are a success. You could have been in a club, you're a success. Listen, this week, Friday, we was driving down Mercury, and we looked at the alley, and the alley was back. We look at the churches, the churches are empty. Why is the world having a good old time? And we... Woo! Woo! Asha Torobo Shata. Yaturiya Torobo Bashada. 
Look at that bomb by my seat. Listen, listen, after today, after today, I am a success story. I am successful. I will make it. I will prosper. I will go please. Everything I touch, it shall. Ah. Uh. Look at somebody, the problem with you right now, only thing you want to prophesy. Look at somebody, I'm tired of broke prophecies. I'm tired of broke prophecies. I'm tired of people prophesying to me broke. And the reason you're telling me I don't talk about prosperity is because you're broke. You're broke in your pocket and you're broke in your spirit. Even your prophecies are broke. Your prophecies are lies. Oh, bye -bye. Every witchcraft, demonic spirit, I cast it down to the pits of hell. Isha, Baba Sata. Ah, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Ah, I got to listen. Look at somebody say, God is changing the course right now. God is changing the course. God is changing the course. In 22. Look at somebody say, I, in 22. Look at somebody square in the eyes in 22. Eyes have not seen. Ear have not heard. Neither has it entered to the heart of man what God has prepared for them that love him. And if you love God, you need to open up your mouth right now. If you really love God, you need to shout, 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 shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. Shout unto the Lord with the voice of victory. Shout unto the Lord with the glory. Glory. Look at somebody say it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. You tried to kill me, but it's already done. You tried to shut me down, but it's already done. You tried to keep me out the palace, but it's already done. Even when I was in the palace, you tried to set me up. You tried to set me up with a wife. You tried to set me with his wife. I don't need his wife. God's gonna bless me with my own wife. God's gonna bless me with my own husband. God's gonna bless me with my own children. My God. Woo! You don't have to sleep with nobody. You don't have to sleep with nobody that's not yours because God is about to give you some brand, a brand new, a brand new somebody that you can call your own. And look at somebody, I give God praise. Woo! <laughs> it's oh yes. Oh my God. We yeah, my ba I shot out my shot. Hey, hey, shana na na da bo sir. Look at your neighbors. The neighbor is already done. Look at your neighbors. The neighbor, I feel the power of God uh, in this place on today. Look at the I cast down everything that's not like God. Uh, I bind it right now. I bind it. I come against it right now. Look at somebody say, even in prison, I'm still blessed. Listen, he was sent to prison, but he was still blessed. God just downloaded something to me. God had to listen. God had to lock Joseph up. He had to put him in a place. And when he put him in a place, he wouldn't put him in a place of solitary. And the reason he was put in the place of solitary, because so God can really use him. Listen, read today, talk about, listen, my gift is not being used. You want your gift to really be used? Allow God to put you in the prison. You listen, you'll say, God's not with me. But why God, listen, why Joseph was in the prison, he began to prophesy. He began to prophesy prophesy again. He never did say what God said. It was two men. It was talking about the chief, the chief, listen, the chief baker and the chief, uh, uh, what, the potter. Uh, uh, I forgot what it was. The chief, I'm going to get to it. The cup, yeah, the chief cup holder and the chief baker, they was there. They was there. They was both in prison. And when they was in prison, they, listen, they didn't understand. They didn't understand the dream. But the only reason they understood the dream 
are you ready for this? Joseph had to be locked up. Uh, let me tell you something. Some people, listen, some people blessing is going to come through you being locked up. Uh, some people blessing is going to come through you being in a place where you don't want to be. And while you're crying to God, to tell my Lord, why am I here? L there's, listen, there's a blessing in the prison. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Listen, I say it's a blessing. It talks about the warden put Joseph in charge of the other prison. Listen, does, does this make sense? Does this make sense? Joseph is in prison, right? Y'all ready for this? And the warden put him in charge of the prisoners. So everywhere he went, he was in charge. <laughs> Even in the prison, he was in charge. So that means he knew wherever he was, God was there. Without complaining, God was there. I hear you, Lord. God's we're complaining right now, and it's really a blessing where we are. Joseph was there for one reason. It's not because that part of her wife lied on him. It was, listen, he was there because it was already meant for him to be there. Wherever you are right now, it's already meant for you to be there unless it's sin. Did you get it? Sin will put you in a different place where you should be. But because he was in righteousness, he was in a place that looked like it was dark, but it was a bright place. <laughs> Put him in charge of the prisons, and soon after Pharaoh's chief, listen, chief, chief cupbearer and chief baker, who had offended Pharaoh, it said it was thrown in the prison. Both men had dreams. Listen, both of these men had dreams. What good is men having dreams and there's no one to interpret? I hate to say this, and I got to get out of here. I hate to say this. You hate to tell people that God has given them a gift, a gift to interpret dreams. Because if you tell them that, that's it, that's it. They don't study no more. They're not going to read no more. They're not going to obey God no more. They're not going to obey the man of God no more. Because the only thing they're doing is searching for dreams and reading for books on dreams and looking for schools that has anything to get do with dreams. They don't hear nothing that the pastor said anymore because they are literally be above the pastor. They're saying that he can't tell me nothing no more because God is dealing with me in dreams. So Joseph, men had dreams, and Joseph being able to, listen, being able to interpret. The cupbearer dream was about a vine and three branches that was budding. <laughs> a vine, a vine, three branches was budding. And if I ask you, what does that sound like? And you're fasting. You're going to be saying, well, Lord, God is telling me to go get some fruits. <laughs> God is telling me, uh, oh, God is telling me, yeah, let me see, God, oh, my God, just twisted. God said, okay, my God. Okay, vine, the buds. Okay, the vine, the buds. The vine is saying tree. Okay, tree. No, vine is saying no. Okay, buds. Okay, is it budding or is it not budding? Okay, now you go tell someone a lie. <laughs> he said, <laughs> and he told them, just in terms of drain the cup bearer being restored. He said, okay, and as it was budding, it blossom came out. And they produced grapes. The cupbearer took those grapes and squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup and placed them in the cup. And Joseph interpreted the dream and the cupbearer being restored as a cupbearer to Pharaoh's within three days. He was restored back within three days. He was restored back into three days. So now the baker, the chief baker, said, my God, God just gave me something else. We look at other people's prophecies and dreams. And we want what they want. 
And we automatically think God's going to bless them like he blessed us. Now it goes on to say, in the baker dream was about three baskets full of bread for the Pharaoh. And birds was eating the bread out of those baskets. <laughs> My God. I'm pretty sure the baker said, well, since I'm a baker and there's bread, God's about to bless my business. <laughs> now, that's deep. Is that deep? My God. Okay, I'm a bakery. Bread. My God. I feel a double fold. If God just bless you, you're about to get out of here in three days. So that means uh, I got to be getting out of here in three days. But he was right at one point. He's definitely coming out in three days. <laughs> the birds are eating in the baskets. So Joseph interpreted this dream. As the baker was being hanged within three days and having his flesh eaten by the birds. Misinterpretation. God just gave me something. And that's where the church is today. We misinterpreting what God is saying. And God is saying what we're telling people is that they're living, they're actually dying. <laughs> so Joseph told the man, he said, no, in three days you're going to be hanged. But because we want popularity so much, we would not have told that dream. We would have said, no, this is what God's going to do. This, No, that man was hanged in three days, and the birds ate the rest. And then Joseph told the man, he said, listen. He told him, he told, he told the cupbearer, he said, when you get out, remember me. That's all, remember me. And the cupbearer, listen, he was so happy to get out. He said, listen, okay, I'm gone. I'm out. I'm out of here. And he forgot about Joseph. God just gave me something else. You can prophesy to people all day long, and guess what? They're going to forget about what you said. And they really don't care what you said because they're free right now. About two years later, Joseph, still in prison, still in prison, about two, two years later. Can you imagine how is it that God tell him I'm going to be blessed and I'm going to prosper in prison? How I just left the palace. I just shouted. I just danced. I just, got, I just got, gave God praise. I had everything, and now my success is gone. But one thing Joseph had was a God of second chances. And God was going to set him up for a blessing. In two years, the cupbearer was around Potiphar. And Potiphar had a dream. And the cupbearer, the chief cupbearer, what? He remembered Joseph because there was people prophesying and trying to tell the dream, and they was dying. They was telling Potiphar what he wanted to hear. And then this man, the chief, he, the chief cupbearer, he said, I know a man that would tell the truth. And Potiphar said, go get Joseph. My God, God just downloaded some of us, and I, we got to get out of here. This man, the cup, listen, the cup bearer did not know, you ready for this here? That Joseph and Potiphar knew each other. So Potiphar did not realize, he knew that there was a blessing on Joseph's life, but he did not know he was gifted like that. So really what Potiphar did was, you know what he did? He locked up gifts that he needed later. And there's some people in church that you locking up gifts that you're going to need later. There's some people leaving the church mad and you locking up a covering that you're going to need later. <laughs> you think you're just running and it's nothing but the enemy got you out there. And you're out there stuck, haven't been to nobody church in six months. Haven't been in nobody church in a year. Have not been in nobody church in two years. But you say, God said. 
Joseph told him to get the, a dream. He was successful. And everything after that was a success story. God was a blessing to him. He was a blessing to everything that he did. God kept his hand on Joseph. Just like he's going to keep his hand on you. I thank God for the word on today. I thank God for everything that he's going to do in this place. Everybody out there, I just want you to get a seed together right now. Get a seed together. I want you to sow a seed. Why are you sowing a seed? You sow in the seed because you need God. You sow in the seed because, listen, I want you to look back on all the time you held back on God. You, you, the seed that, that God has told that, told, that God told you to give, you didn't give. Not only your seed, but your tithe. Now, while I'm talking about tithe, are you tithing right? We talk about this, we talk about this here. See, some people, they're not tithing off this here. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tithe off my, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, listen, we have to tithe off everything. Because, can I tell you something? When, when, when God blessed me with my 100% disability, when, he, when, he, when, when God blessed me with my 100% disability, you know what that means? I have to tithe off that. You know why? Because I don't have it. I cannot wait to get it. I cannot ask for God for things and not tithe off what he gave me. The reason he, I'm tithing off of because I need something more. I need something else better than these tithing offering and this disability check or this retirement check. I tithe off my retirement check. I tithed off check after check after check. But literally, can, can I tell you something? My tithe is different than your tithe. I tithe up. Really? You know why the church is not blessed? God spoke through the word of God, through the word of God. The reason the church is not where it is right now is because the people are not tithing the way they should. Everything is in the house. If I tithe, listen, I, I, even in my disability, when I tithe off my disability, when I tithe off my retirement, when I tithe off my government check, when I tithe off this check, when I tithe off all my streams of income, the reason it's flowing is because, listen, the reason all my streams are flowing is because every stream has a tithe attached to it. If you have five checks and you're only tithing off two, that means the other three are clogged up. Those streams are cursed. Because God said, I will curse you with a curse. That's not me telling you that. That's the word of God. So I'm asking you, listen, if, if you, listen, and if you don't have a church home, you want to be a part of, of House of God Worship Center, get in touch with somebody here. Let us know if you want to be a part. Let us know if you want to be a part. Is there anybody out there right now? You said, listen, I don't have a church home. I have not had a church home, and I want to be a part of House of God Worship Center. There is somebody you can get in touch with here. Online, online. Let me tell you something. And also, again, when you sow your seed, it's online how to give it and how to do it. You're doing it. And let me tell you, and, and I tell people, they say, well, why, Bishop, why do you, why do you, and, and I tell people when we talk about, why do you talk about finance in January? I talk about finance in January so the sin from last year will be covered this year. So you can start off right. My, listen, my pastor told me one time when he pulled me into that office, he said, he's a, a brother Gary. He said, brother Gary, your tithe is not acting up. It's not one time that I came to anybody in this place and looked at you and said, your tithe is not right. But can I tell you something? There's a lot of people in this place, your tithe are not right. Don't buy things and now can't tithe. That's not God. That's not God. 
So today I'm asking you, if you don't have a church home, you say, listen, I want to be a part of House of God Worship and church. And, and if you're a part of this many, you already know what the tithe off. You say, well, what am I tithing off for? Listen, I'm, t- I'm telling you right now, tithe off every income that you're giving, that you're getting. How can God trust you with a million dollars and you can't give him what you have now? How are you going to be successful when you're not successful in your mind? Yes, Lord. Thank you. When you, listen, when you tithe and you sold, just listen, give me an amen. Just put it done. Put it done. Listen, I thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you, Bessie. All right. I'm looking. I'm looking. Put it online if you're online. Put it on there. Hey, listen, Reggie, this is my co-worker, Reggie Rogers. How you doing? I thank God when my co-workers come on and be a blessing and just be a blessing to the house of the Lord. Amen. When you giving, listen, start this year off, right? If you're talking about double in 22 and you're still not giving, this may not be for you. I don't want to hear people talking about, you always talking about prosperity. No, I'm not always talking about prosperity. The word of God is always talking about prosperity. So don't get mad at me. You need to get mad at God. Because all through the Bible, that's all the Bible talks about is prosperity. So I thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. When you're giving this, say, oh, right. Hey, thank you, Evangelist Tremaine. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Put it in there. Thank you. Put it in the chat. Let me, if you out here today and you already give me, giving, just give me a good old amen. 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 I thank you. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for what he's doing. I thank God for his grace and his mercy. My God, God is going to do it just for you. He's going to do it because he said he's going to do it. When we look at examples, when we, while you're still giving, I'm just trying to make sure that if everybody's sold, make sure that you say I've sold. When we look at prosperity in the Bible, you look at Joseph, you look at Joshua, you look at David, you look at Solomon, you look at Josiah, you look at Hezekiah, you look at Daniel. The everybody, these all people was blessed. They're not was only blessed, but they prospered in the Bible. Listen, you listen, you want to be connected, download our app, please. Who has our app? Who has our app? If you're out there, please download the app in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, how you doing, Deacon Smitty? How you doing, sir? Amen. How you doing, Bennett? How you doing, Sister Bennett? Amen. I thank everyone for giving on today. Thank you. I thank you. How you doing, Quana? Hey, TT. I thank you. I hope you enjoyed the word on today, Darius. I hope you enjoyed the word on today. I thank everyone for giving. I, oh my God, I thank God for my sister. Hey, you know, it's good to have family uh, watch you. It's good to have family. Hey, Amen. Listen, I'm telling my sister right now, her and her husband. Listen, I'm not asking you. I don't know where you are right now. I'm telling you, listen, if you're not at nobody church, I, need, I want my sister, I want my family to be a part of House of God Worship Center. Amen. Listen, the, listen, I'm not, I'm not asking you. If you don't have a church home, be a part of House of God Worship Center. Amen. We have a goal, and I pray that today we've met our goal because I don't see where it is. And you may say, well, where's the money going? Listen, the money's going what, to everything that's needed. It's going to 7400 And you may say, how's 7400 doing right now? 7400 looking real good. It looking real. It looking real. It looking real good. And this is because of your blessing. And never listen, don't get to the point. And God just downloaded. I hear God right now. Don't get to the point right where you are right now. You say, Lord, I'm struggling. I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. That could be a test for you. That could be a test for you. God can allow us to go through tests just to see where we are. Amen. Love you, Gail. Love you. I'm praying for your, I'm praying for your husband, Kevin. I'm praying for his family member. Hey, thank you. The Browns have sold. Amen. I think all the Browns have sold. I thank you, Shanique. I thank you. Miss you on today. I thank you, TT. I thank everyone. Thank you. That listen, the blessing are still coming. I want to teach you. I want to teach you what God is saying. Even today, don't get mad at me. This is the word of God. Amen. Again, if you want to be blessed, we tithe off everything. Don't let the enemy curse your house. Don't let them listen. Uh, uh, and and that listen. Uh, 
my God, God just now, he just brought something back to my attention. The Holy Ghost just brought something back to my attention. Uh, what I was doing was when, when, the, um, when my pastor told me about this here, uh, it was, I was holding back, which I didn't know. I was holding back on my, what is it, BAQ, the housing, my housing line. And I told him, I said, well, I'm not, I'm not tithing off my housing. I said, I need that. I told him, I need that. I told him, I said, I, I, said, I, said, I need that. That's, that's for my housing. He looked me dead in my face. He said, but is it an increase? I'm like, God. I said, I said, well, yeah. <laughs> what he said, well, yeah. He said, is it an increase? I said, yeah. He said, did God give you an increase? I said, yeah. I looked at my wife. My wife looked at me and said, if, you, if, if you're not there yet and you don't want your whole house cursed, make sure that whoever handled the money, ha listen, listen, if, 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 I'm, if, I, listen, if I get some money and my wife said, hey, you forgot to tie it off this here, I said, oh, man, I forgot. Because everybody just, people just blesses me. People just bless me. And my wife said, did you tie it off that? And she let me know. Hey, did you, oh, my God, I forgot. Boom. That's right, that's right. Because I get, you know, and, and I'll be like, okay, that's right. That's right. You're right about that. That's right. But listen, Ananias and Sapphire, they lied to the Holy Ghost off the same thing, off of, off, off of a piece of property. Because sometimes we think, well, listen, I already, I already gave the tithe off this property. We, we ever thought about that? I already gave the tithe off this property. I already gave the tithes. Ananias, when they came to get Anna, when they came to get the money for Ananias, they said, "Listen, did you sell property?" He said, "Oh no." Did you make any money? Oh, no, not really. Boom, dead. If God would have killed us because we didn't tithe right. No, no, don't laugh, cause everybody going <laughs> that laugh me, boom. But I thank God for his second chances. And, and really, when you tithe right, it's God just wants to see your heart. It's the heart of the matter. Because listen, soon as I start tithing right, everything else, I was a Joseph moment. Everything else fell in place. And God had to show me that little money wasn't even worth it. Hold them back home. Ananias, Sapphire, he did, she didn't even hear him die. They drug him out, came back, let me, I, and I can hear him not say right now. I know the wife's going to tell the truth. Sapphire, did y'all sell anything, any property, any, did y'all make any money? No, 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 not really. Boom. And guess what? Y'all ready for some revelation? The Bible didn't even say anything about children. You know why? It didn't matter if they had kids. You lied to the Holy Ghost. Somebody else will raise your child. I thank everyone for giving. I thank God. I hope I've put out what God gave me on today. The word of the Lord. God, the Lord, listen, God wants you to be successful. I come against every demon, every witch, every warlock to come and say, you know, we're preaching prosperity. No, we're preaching the word of God. We're preaching the word of God. Be successful in everything. Spiritual and your natural. Amen. Let everyone stand. Let me tell you something. Y'all know, know this fast, right? Y'all know this fast, right? Three o'clock? Fruit song. Oh, no, don't, don't give no dreams about my, my no vines and, <laughs> and birds. Listen, my house was smelling so good last night. First lady cooked. And, and you know, we got a roommate, right? We got a roommate, right? Our roommate. Our roommate, our roommate was walking around the house. She walked in the house. She said, my God, it smelled good in here. <laughs> you know.
you know, messing with it. Because guess what? Everything mine belongs to her. Everything mine belongs to her. Even, even Re, my, my, my. When, listen, when Re, when Re say Paul, Paul, I, 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 it, I listen to that. Cause I picked. Listen, my God, we got to get out of here. I, I picked her up. Uh, Deacon Justin and I, we got to get Deacon Justin and uh, I, God, I was about to say it again. Sister Andrea, Sister Andrea was. They was told us about a school. What's the name of the school? Silver, Silver's Learning Center, and they told us about it, right? And then when we found out the price, it, the price in the thousands, thousands, thousands of dollars, right? And then when uh, when he told me about it, I went right to it. When I right, went right to it, I said, listen, we invest in everything but our children. We invest in everything but our children. So Deacon and Justin, we realized after school, most children, Chinese, Arab, all these wealthy people, their children go to school after school. You may be wondering, why is it that my children are not learning everything they need? Because the other people, children, they're setting them up for success. Regrades went from a what? Basement to A's in math. Now that's something to give God praise for. Listen, her grades went from the basement to A in math. In math. But she don't understand what we're setting her up for. We're not setting her up for the shipyard. If anything, we send her up so she'll be a part of the shipyard. Supervisors running it in the shipyard. We're setting this up so she'll have her own practice. We're setting this up so she'll be a saved, listen, saved lawyer, saved doctor. We're preparing her now that, listen, so that it will work. So it will work. How many other children in here right now go to school after school? That's what I'm praying for right now. I'm praying right now. Mr. Best, I'm praying for your child after school. Your child at school. The riches, your child after school. Not just one, all three. All three. Listen, all three. In a school, after school. After school. Not about football, not about basketball. There will be success. There will be success stories after success story. I'm praying for Zion in college. I believe God. I believe God. And like Deacon and Justin, I say, we're, listen, when we go there after, uh, we, have a, we have the village. The village is, I pick her up on Wednesdays and Thursdays after work. First lady, take her. On Saturday, short eight, take her. Somebody else may pick her up. But she's in, she's in the school constantly. Listen, when we saw the math and, and the, the way they sold the tools, they said this here. Her math will go up. Her math will. Her, it, it's not. They did not say it, 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 it may go up. They said it will go up. I said, well, no. I don't, let me see. I said, let me see. But it speaks for itself. So I'm telling you right now to invest in your child. I don't care how smart they are. The schools are not giving them everything. These schools are in touch with the schools. So these schools are ahead of the school. So before they even get to a, a session, they're already teaching your child to be already there. Your, ch your child is already stepped. So we're really preparing her for what? College. We're also preparing her for what? Scholarships. Academic scholarship, not a football, not a basketball. I'm looking for doctors and lawyers. 
I'm looking for accountants in the church. But you know why we don't have them? We're not investing in our children. I don't care. Listen, I don't care if you have to, I don't care if you have to get rid of some of your Jordans and put the Jordans into your children. We can do it. Amen. Everyone, please stand. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for the success story. I thank you for allowing me to be successful in everything that I do, Lord Jesus. It's not about wealth. It's not about riches. But, Lord, I want my character to be successful. I want my life to be successful. I want my anointing to be successful. I want my preaching to be successful. That men may be saved and saved. Thank you for all that you've done for us. I pray for the sick and shut in. I pray. I pray for a speedy recovery. I pray for healing right now. I come against every COVID. I come against every virus. I bind it right now. Even if your even if your children caught it, Lord Jesus, I pray for a speedy recovery right now so they can get back to the house of the Lord. Some people just can't wait to get back to the house of the Lord. And I'm praying for them right now. I'm praying for our musicians. I'm praying for Nate. I'm praying for Tim. I'm praying for Robbie, Lord Jesus. Heal their bodies. Bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Love you.